girl. In today's video, I'm gonna be trying out Juvia's Place setting powders. I picked up the I Am Magic setting powder online on Juvia's Place when it launched uh, like a week and a half ago. It took a little while to get here, but it finally did. I ordered three shades, three different shades, but they actually sent me two of the same shade and then one of the other shade. So on my actual packing slip, it actually lists the shades I got, which are Gobi, Namib, and Kalahari. But in real life, they sent me two of Kalahari and one Namib, which sucks because I really feel like Gobi would have been my perfect match. I feel like the ones they sent me were like a little bit too light and a little bit too like orangey for me. So anyways, I still want to show you guys how they work on my skin tone. One of them little robots put the wrong package in my bag, okay? So this is the setting powder. It's actually a lot smaller than I expected it to be. It is, how many, what size is this? Let me see the size. How much is in here? Okay, I don't know. It doesn't say. On the box, it says that it's a finely milled setting powder used to blur out imperfections, brighten under eye, and hold makeup in place. It's cruelty, it's cruelty free, paraben free, and vegan. And I don't know how much is in here. Let me just hold it up next to a powder. This is Laura Mercier powder. This is Juvia's Place powder. Like, See how tiny it is? It is only $12, so if you doubled it, it would probably be like the size of this, kind of. If you own the highlighters, it's pretty much the same size of their highlighters. Like, yeah, it's the same size. This is my first time testing out the Juvia's Place setting powder, so it is a first impression video. I also use the foundation and concealer in this video, although I wish I didn't use the concealer, but that's besides the point, period. Keep on watching to see me get snatched, okay? So today I'm gonna use the Juvia's Place I Am Magic Foundation. I've been using the shade Malawi, and with my concealer and everything, I feel like it works pretty well, so I haven't picked up a new shade. So I usually use a brush, and then I go in with a sponge after. I said I was gonna go to Ulta to pick up a couple other shades, but girl, I haven't made it to Ulta since then. I'm lying. I did go to Ulta one time, but the Ulta I went to don't carry Juvia's Place, so I need to go back to a different Ulta. I want to see the line in person, and I also want to see the um, Uma Uma Beauty. I don't know how to pronounce it. That one is only available at the altars that are like near black neighborhoods, and the altars near me. Yeah, this is definitely like the world's most full coverage foundation. Like it's so full cover. I already did a full review on the foundation and the wear test, so just in case you were wondering, I'm also gonna use some of this concealer. Do I look? green right now why do i look green it doesn't give any flashback and it wears really well so this concealer is in the shade 13 and i need to pick up 12 but like i said i haven't made it to the ulta store yet you know every time i go to ulta i just buy way too much like way more than i need and i know you guys can relate because some of you guys tell me, like, I just be picking up things that I didn't even know I needed. I'm trying to stay out of Ulta because it is a death trap. Like, you go into Ulta and you just end up spending all this money that you did not plan to spend. Like, what in the world? You know when I knew I spent so much money at Ulta? One day I went into Ulta and I don't know what I went to get. Like, I just was browsing, right? And I saw some new MAC stuff and I was like, oh, let me just get this stuff. So usually when I check out, I ask them, like, oh, do I have any points that I can use? She was like, yeah, you got points. You have whatever, whatever amount of points and it equals $50. I was like, $50? Like, <laughs> that's when I knew I was spending way too much money on Ulta. Like, how do I have $50 worth of points? $50? Okay. I was like, all right, you need to calm down because this is ridiculous. I was happy though, but still. And it's not like I never redeem my points. Like, I usually use my points. So I must have spent so much money within that month or maybe they had one of those like triple the point things I don't know but I was shocked I was like what I watched um, makeup Shayla and Desi they had Beyonce's makeup artist on their channels and I wanted to try out his techniques and stuff because it looked really nice and I also saw Beyonce's picture with that really beautiful makeup look that she wore I think it was the basketball game I definitely will be doing that soon. I also want to do some get ready with me as you guys. Like I've been really trying to plan out, do some get ready with me, like chit chat videos. I want to talk more. I want to talk more about life stuff. You know, I have a lot going on in my personal life. 
and I figured I could share it with you guys and also just random stuff you know like my concealer is in I'm about to open my powders I'm gonna take a sip of this little drink here this is cranberry passion fruit lemonade my card drink I ordered three different shades they sent me two of the same shade like I said and then a third shade so I'm gonna just try the yellowy shade under my eye this is Namib and Kalahari so this one is called Kalahari it is a yellowy shade I'll show you guys here it's like yellow so this is the yellow shade and then this one is called Namib which is this is Namib it's a little bit deeper this yellow looks really nice so, so I'm gonna add this so we're just gonna put this under my eye okay okay this concealer is creasing so bad on this side it's crazy I know I didn't set it right away but still like damn creasing is unbelievable this powder looks pretty good okay it seems like a matte powder this is not my favorite concealer so I probably should use it on one of my favorite concealers but it looks really good over this concealer that I don't really like too much but it looks like a nice flawless finish under my eye I am noticing looking like a little too yellow like kind of like flashback but I hope it doesn't give me flashback I literally just decided I'm gonna use this color the deeper one on my other side because I just want to see what it looks like this is how it looks okay this looks pretty good hmm let's add some more The side is creasing so badly it's crazy all right this one is definitely going to give you some color so if you don't want any color under your eye you want to see your concealer color i would not use this one so it's giving me more of that natural look and not that highlighted under eye look i do like it it actually looks really good like i know the yellow one gives me more of a highlight but i don't know if i like the highlight it's giving me let me just add some of this one to my forehead this is, I think it's called, um, I don't know. <laughs> I'm so lazy. All right, it's called Namib, okay? My brow, what is my brows doing right now? Oh my gosh, I need to fix my brows. All right, I'm gonna go over this side with the more um, brown powder. I mean, yeah. I'm gonna go over here with the more brown shade. I think this shade is better for me because it just looks better overall so I'm gonna do a little bit of bacon with it just to see how it performs with bacon so I just set my face with it now I'm gonna bake which is basically leaving the powder on for longer we're gonna pat some in here this powder is a little bit on the orange side and I'm not trying to be orange so hopefully it dust is all fine because all right so I'm just gonna let that bake I'm gonna put some of the yellow on my nose so it could pop a little more you know all right we're gonna take our brush I'm gonna pat that in with this palette I have to do a lot of patting and not as much blending and that's pretty much what everyone is saying that I wash like just pat it and don't blend like you usually do I wanted to try getting a different palette but the thing is I ordered mine from Anastasia's website and um, something you may not know about me but I don't like making returns like I will just not return something like I don't like making returns especially online returns like I don't think I've ever done an online return you will not catch me this is cute all right for the inner corner I'm just gonna take Rick Road which is a yellow and pop that in there I'm gonna take a little bit of Inspire and just in the very center, I'm gonna add that to make it pop a little bit more. My lash glue is still a little wet, it has to get dried up. I'm gonna put a little bit of that same color down here.
Now, all right, so I'm gonna dust off this powder and I'm gonna see how it looks. Let me just dust off, make sure I don't get any of that purple on my face. I'm gonna use Becca's Moe Nights to bronze up my face a little bit. All right, I'm gonna use Nubia from Juvia to highlight a little bit. All right, let me just set my face because I'm gonna set. The powder was looking really powdery, so I wanted to melt it together to just give you guys my final thoughts on it. That sounds silly, the powder was powdery, obviously. But it was a little bit powdery, like more powdery than normal. So I wanted to give you guys like a good review, like a good opinion. This is the color Punch by Morphe. I went to go look at my face in a different light, like my bathroom light, my bedroom light, and this living room light. And I feel like the shade that they didn't send to me would have been the best shade for me. I feel like this shade that I used was a little bit too deep and a little bit on the orange side for under the eye. And also the yellow shade felt a little bit too yellow for me. The formula itself I do like. It's on the matte side like the powder. But it does blend in really, really well. So I do like that about it. It's like a medium size particle or powder or whatever you want to call it. It's not really thin like some other powders, but it's not as thick as like the Fenty powder it's it's a little thinner than that one something about it reminds me of Sasha buttercup I'm not sure what it is but something about the formula reminds me of that powder and um, the color the first one I used kind of reminds me of Sasha as well so that's kind of the powder I feel like it reminds me of the most that I have this yellow is similar to the Huda Beauty yellow but the Huda Beauty yellow is a little bit deeper so I'm able to use it this one is a little bit brighter it's like a white yellow this is like a beige yellow kind of this one looks more flattering on my skin tone than this powder I feel like this is better for someone who's lighter and is really gonna brighten a lot more for that person because it has more of that white yellow look to it if that makes sense and then this is the deeper one called Namib compared to my um, Laura Mercier deep powder that I love this is the two so Namib has more orange like a lot more orange than this powder and this powder to me has the perfect amount of yellow to it it's not super super neutral which I hate about brown I hate brown powders that are really neutral because I'm not neutral so obviously I don't like them <laughs> but but this one is a lot, this one is very, very warm. So I feel like if you're a lot deeper and you want to brighten under your eye, this would be really, really good for you. But if you're around, if you're on my skin tone though, it's a little bit too deep. It's not really deep, just more too orange really. And if it was this color, like this undertone, it would actually work really well. Now, I do think the other shade will be my perfect shade, but again, I don't have her and I don't like to return things like I don't and I don't like to do that whole process so my phone literally just died so I need to go charge it a little bit so I could do that flash test to see how it works and then I'll insert a picture for you guys all right so I'm gonna do the flash test let me just make sure my focus is So it doesn't give any flashback. Let me know in the comment section down below if you picked up the powder, if you got it, if you tried it, if you like it. I know some people on Twitter said they didn't ship out. Mine took a while to get here to ship out. The whole process took a while for this powder, which was crazy. Like it took, it took a hot minute, okay? Anyways, I'll see you in my next video. If you like this video, subscribe to my channel, click subscribe down below, and join the family. I love you, bye. Big drink, big drink, big drink, big drink.